guys, I'm participating in Kin's New Year Meet You collaboration. So after my video, be sure to check out all the other videos in the playlist. There's going to be a new video every day up until February 3rd. You can find all of these amazing videos on the homepage of the Kin community's own channel for easy access. Hey guys, it's Lisa, and today I wanted to do a video about New Year's and give you seven tips and tricks. So I know New Year's comes and everyone's like, oh, I'm going to lose weight, I'm going to exercise, I'm going to do all this stuff, and then January 5th comes and like everyone stopped going to the gym. So I want to give you some tips and tricks on how to like maintain like your ideal weight once you get there, what do you do kind of thing. So. I don't know, like a little bit longer than 10 years ago, I gained between 20 to 30 pounds like really fast, like nine months. I went, like it just happened over a night and I was just buying pants after pants. And I was like, okay, this is not to stop. I have to figure out a way to rectify this problem. So I have figured out seven ways or tips and tricks to really help myself. So the last 10 years, I've been able to maintain that weight, that goal weight, you know, exercise, diet, kind of what you're eating, and don't deprive yourself. So I'm gonna give you seven tips and tricks, so let's get into it. I really recommend trying this out. I don't recommend doing crash diets or just like cold turkey. I think some people can do that. People like me, you hear the word diet and all I can think about is like chocolate cake, pies, all the things I shouldn't be eating and that's all I wanna do. So today I'm gonna to give you my seven tips and tricks to maintain your weight. Okay, first one, I wrote it down. Or I have it down right here on my phone. First thing is portion control. I have mentioned this before. I really, really think that by maintaining a certain amount of food in a plate, that'll really help you. So say you are, I don't know, somewhere and they offer you bigger plates, always try to get the smallest plate, fill that plate up, and you will mentally look at that plate and be like, okay, that's a lot of food. But if you get like a big old plate and then you put a little bit of food, your body, your mind, everything will just be like, oh, that's such a small amount of food, I'm gonna get hungry. So fill up your small plate with a lot of food and you'll look at it and be like, yes, this is enough food. Another thing I've mentioned before is the half diet or the half kind of mentality when you're going out to a restaurant and they give you this big plate like at Claim Jumpers, just eat half. You get the food, you're like, okay, I'm gonna stop at half. That's what you're gonna do. It's gonna be hard, but you have to discipline yourself because losing weight, maintaining your ideal weight, doesn't just happen with exercise, it's diet and exercise. So eat half of it, sit there, um, and then we'll get into the next one. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're going to take 20 minutes to eat at least because it takes some time for your brain and your stomach to be on the same page. Sometimes you're really, really hungry and, you're, and you just eat so much and then you're like super full. So you should not be eating like that. Of course, you always should remember to eat until you're not hungry anymore. Not hungry anymore, not till you're full because that's very important. So you'll eat, so you'll eat until you're not hungry anymore and that's how the 20 minute Part work. So growing up, I've always done it. When I was little, my parents were like, Alisa, get back here and eat. And I would just eat a little bit and I'd run and play and then come back. Alisa, don't go play, eat. And then, you know, like always getting in trouble. So I kind of just adapted that at a very young age. But now that I'm older, you know, it's like you eat, maybe you're eating by yourself, play on your phone for a little bit and then go back and take up that 20 minutes to eat. And then probably like between 25 minutes, 30 minutes, you're like, I'm so not hungry anymore. And that's gonna help you eat less. Now you stuff your face with like a turkey in 20 minutes, you've eaten a big old turkey, and you're gonna be uncomfortable, you're not gonna feel good, and you've just eaten so much food. So eat a little bit in the 20 minute mark, and you'll be good. So, I'm like playing with the chair pump. Okay, so anyway, back to this. The next thing is, you wanna drink liquids beforehand, and whether it be water, tea, coffee, I don't know what time of the day you're eating, but it's always good to help eat and drink some kind of liquid. So the first thing I always do is drink some water and it really helps fill up your stomach. Then you eat and you won't be as hungry. My parents always made us drink some liquid while we're eating so we wouldn't choke. So I've just kind of adapted that 
into whenever I'm, I'm eating, I always have to have a drink and food. I know some people don't, but I really recommend it. If you are a person who just eats and you don't have like a liquid with you, try it. Try drinking the liquid. It will help fill up your stomach, you know, and you'll give you that like, I guess not illusion, but just kind of that feeling that you've had a lot to eat. Then eat your food. It really helps cut down on the amount of food that you eat. And the next thing is, super important, don't deprive yourself. Now there's, um, I used to have a friend that would eat clean six days a week and on that last day they would just binge. Now that works for some people, that does not work for me. The second I hear you can't have this, I'm like, oh I just want it, all I want is a chocolate cake, that's all I want, I won't eat anything else. And that's the problem. So I don't deprive myself of anything, except for things that I'm allergic to, but I feel like if I have a little bit of cake after I eat, I'm okay because I'm not depriving myself. Now, there are people who will eat like a little piece of a donut and they'll come back and eat a little bit more and a little bit more. Now you're just kind of throwing that whole process out. You have to just get a little bit of that taste and then move on. Go do something else. Take tiny little bites, stretch it out over, I don't know how long, let's say 20 minutes or whatever, but it really helps. So if you just take your little cake or whatever and you eat it really fast, you're not really enjoying it. So enjoy your food. That really helps slow down your eating process and then you'll be full. So I really recommend don't deprive yourself of things. Just have a little bit of it and then eventually you're just going to kind of be like, eh, I don't really want it. And I think that's part of the thing with food is because we deprive ourselves so much of certain items because we don't want to get fat or we don't want to gain weight or we're like trying to be healthy, then a little bit, portion control. Then the next thing is a 20 day habit. So it takes about 20 days for you to pick up a good habit or pick up a bad habit. So try these methods for 20 days and you'll just kind of get into it. It'll just happen and then it'll just be second nature. You'll go to a restaurant, you'll see your plate, you'll cut your sandwich in half and you'll eat half of it and then that's it. It will just slowly integrate into your lifestyle. Like I'm not one for cold turkey anything. I just, mm -mm, I just can't do it. And I know there's a lot of people like that. So try it 20 days, slowly integrate every little thing into it, into your lifestyle and it'll really help. And the next thing is exercise since we're talking about increments. So if you're like me, I'm like, oh, I gotta exercise. Ugh, I don't wanna exercise. But if you do it in increments, it really helps. So maybe you do 10 minutes of light jogging and then the next day you increase it to 15 minutes or like the next week, just slowly builds up to it and it really helps because if you're somebody, like a lot of people I know, will hit the gym on January 1st and then January 5th, you're like, eh, Jim, what's that? Is that a dude? Who is that? So I really recommend slowly, even if you're at the gym, jump on the elliptical, watch a show, 30 minutes, and you're done kind of thing. And then just, you know, integrate it slowly and increase as you move. Don't just jump right into it because there's some people who can't do it. I can't. Tell me I got to be at the gym at two, for two hours and I'm like, huh, bye. So something to keep in mind and water. Sometimes your brain and your stomach are like, I'm so, so hungry. Oh my God, I can eat my arm. But you're really just thirsty. So carry some water with you. Drink water before you eat will help you determine how much food you want. And then also don't obsess over it. You know, I know that there's like counting calories and there's counting this and that, but that just doesn't work for some people. I am that person. I am the worst. And I found these little tips and tricks really help maintain that weight because I know some people who have lost 150 pounds and then they gain 200 pounds and that's not what we want. We want to introduce these things into our lifestyle so that it becomes second nature and it just happens and you're not, you know, like thinking about it and constantly obsessing over it. So I highly recommend this in addition to exercising and also been using the Flex belt, which is super awesome. So I'll talk about that later. But I'm Elisa. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the other New Year's collaborations. The links and the information is below. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!